<laughs> I believe my friend discovered the large tree I made in the Mi our Minecraft server. Man, it's great. So, we should jump right into Sankaku Renai because I only have about an hour um, to play it. So just give us a second. I'm just going to boot the game up. We should finish it today, still, despite everything. It's all thanks to Hololive that I know about how to make giant trees and all that stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, just gonna. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Sankaku Renai. We shall finish the game at last. Because I don't even know how much more uh, we have left. I think we've literally only got about half an hour. That's all we have left to before we complete the game. Uh, where is it? Jump in. <laughs> Unlike the chaos at lunchtime, there's now a calmness in the club room. Only Suzu and I are left here. Everyone dispersed early so they could get on with their own preparations for the job. The sales girls in Yukata I can understand, but I'm not entirely sure what everyone else is rushing home for. Guess I can only wait and see. You ready to leave, Suzu? <laughs> So where are we going? The reason we let everyone leave ahead of us is because Suzu said there was something somewhere she wanted to go. Just gotta look up and done. Right, so where are we going? Oh, for dinner tonight or something? Makes sense. Why? Don't you already have those covered? Her dishes always look masterfully crafted, not to mention how she always manages to cut her vegetables into identically sized pieces. I don't see any reason why she'd need to review the basics at this point. Ah, oh, she's so such a hard worker. Unlike a certain person I know at work, haha, <laughs> he always says he's a good worker, but you wonder sometimes. Seems the gang's motivation rubbed off on her. You're such a hard worker, Suzu. You'll make a great wife someday. <laughs> She'll be your wife. I thought she'd be touched to hear that, but she just falls silent. What's wrong? I upset you, did I? I was worried that I'd accidentally hurt her, but she vigorously shakes her head in denial. Then she asks, she timidly asks, "Who? Well, I quickly look around to make sure I'm in the clear. Fortunately, it's well past evening and everyone's basically gone home already. Okay, now I can say this. Mine." I mean, I kind of, I kind of admire this this visual novel. Going, or you know, no fucks given. It's we have an incest route, and you know, it's all fine. It's all fine. After hearing that, she starts clinging to my arm. Whoa! Her boobs squidge up against me. If this were a month ago, I would have just been delighted at my adorable little sister's display of affection. But now that we have a sexual relationship. I'm reacting in a different way. Schwing! <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> Suzu starts giggling as she watches me blush, and then... Squeeze! Hey! She's totally doing this on purpose now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I 
<laughs> is she suggesting something? Fine, as in... I already know what she means. I'm just surprised that she's the one bringing it up. <laughs> uh. Hell no! I really fucking want to! Ah crap, my thoughts just leaked out. Ugh. Suzu calling me Onichi and took me by surprise. <laughs> oh dear, she's good. I do. Sh sure. No, wait. Not at home. I don't want Nanaru catching us. Suzu had a reason to be in my room the other night. But if either I slept in Suzu's room, or she slept in mine, and Nanaru walked in and found us the next morning... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's making a Pokemon reference. Ah, Pokemon meme reference. Nice. <laughs> she totally make fun of us like that. Sorry, I just imagined a certain green-haired girl grinning at me. Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that to him. Gee, Suzu. That's a critical hit right there. Suzu pouts, bashful and dissatisfied. I gotta do something now. Okay, let's do this. Suzu, come with me for a sec. There's this unused classroom. And sticking it in. <laughs> ah, wow, Suzu Route 8. She's already gotten a route longer than Nanaru. Frickin' hell. So yeah, we're all helping out at the stall at the festival. After returning home like nothing happened, I informed my parents of our plans. So, いや、私も父さんに同感かな。<笑> After finishing, she looks over towards me. I know, she's given me an opportunity to take the initiative. No reason to say no, so I'll go along with it. I'll help her then. I should be able to chop the vegetables at least. She instantly drops the persona she was using and gives me a thumbs up. Okay, time to make my little sisters proud. I'm gonna go shopping tomorrow, Suzu. Do you wanna come with me? I was gonna buy an apron and I thought it'd be nice to have you along. <laughs> hey, shut up! I'm plenty capable. Plus, Suzu's gonna teach me. Or, Suzu's gonna be teaching me. Wow, this is like the food stream, isn't it? <laughs> this really has turned into the food stream. We're going that far? Oh, that's fun. Supporting your kids. I like the way you think, you. Parents don't tend to do that, though, do they? Let's be honest. Mom's eyes cloud over with emotion. They then go to on to stare into each other's eyes, wholly forgetting that we're there too. <laughs> 
We're watching, you know. <laughs> Very much in love, aren't they? <laughs> Nanaru grabs the AC remote and hammers it down to its coldest setting. Yep, just a typical day in the Komorie household. But one that's only possible because Suzu came back. While keeping close watch on my lovebird parents and Nanaru, who's driving the AC colder and colder like a madwoman, I sneakily take hold of Suzu's hand from under the table. Her eyes shoot wide open for a quick second, but soon she relaxes and squeezes softly on my hand. A peaceful bliss overtakes me as I feel her warmth on my palm. Cute. Today's the day we go shopping. Hmm, is this good enough? I do a quick check of my appearance before leaving my room. Come to think of it, this will be the first time we've gone anywhere together since we started dating. We've done pl stuff plenty of times, sure, but this is our first time as an official couple. Our first big date. We may have skipped all the steps and gone straight to sexy times, but funnily enough, the idea of a date still has me feeling butterflies in my chest. Is it because I'm a man, or is it because I'm a massive nerd? Nah, it can't have anything to do with me being a nerd. Any man my age would be nervous about going on a date. But the more it sets in, the more worried I get over the fact that I haven't really done any planning or preparation at all. They say girls want their first date to be an unforgettable experience, so I can't really afford to let her down. Well, not gonna like worrying myself to death's gonna do anything. I pull myself together and leave my room. When I get to the living room, I find Suzu drinking some tea. There's only one plate of breakfast on the table. Guess everyone else is still asleep. M morning. You're up early. <laughs> oh, is that right? Where's Nanaru? <laughs> oh, thank ya! I eat my breakfast while absent-mindedly considering what Nanaru might be up to. But man, what kind of wind blew her away? Normally Nanaru doesn't get out of bed till noon at the earliest. Huh. She probably would have given us, asked us to come along, but I get the feeling she's purposefully giving us alone time. Well, she totally accepts the relationship, so, you know. Almost too considerate. It's like she's trying to keep away from them now. She mutters that somewhat sadly as she pours me some tea. Cute. Oh, I should probably have changed the um I should have changed the category. <laughs> Taken the get off uh, you know right. Uh here we go. And you're okay with that only that only being until the festival? <laughs> she puffs out her cheeks in displeasure, but still hands me my tea. Well, I think she's being not too considerate for herself as well as um, for Sosuke and Suzu. You think she is? I see. I hadn't caught on at all, but Suzu seems to be far more observant. Oop, I should probably uh, close that window for now so we don't get any more audio interruptions. <laughs> she's always been perceptive when it comes to other people's emotions. That's probably why she's so ready to put her own feelings second. It's a good trait to have, but sometimes you have to be selfish in life. Well, we better make the most of today's date then, you know, since we won't be getting much time alone in the near future. <laughs> <laughs> She spit, 
She spit takes with the tea as she was drinking. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you alright? <laughs> oh, poor, poor Suzu. I'm fine, Suzu. None of it got on me. In what was likely a split second decision, Suzu turned away from me before splurting out her drink everywhere. Thanks to that, the spray of barley tea only landed on the table and the floor. Here's a tissue. Oof, I do hate when your drink goes down the wrong way. I quickly hold out a box of tissues and Suzu wipes down her mouth. Eh? It's only tea. It'll clean up easily. The two of us wiped up the floor with more tissues. Thankfully, there wasn't much of it, so it's a relatively short job. So what about what I just said to make you spit your drink everywhere? <laughs> oh, she didn't see it as a date, really? Hmm? Aren't we going on a date? That's what I thought we were doing. Just a second, guys. See, only a second, only a second. <laughs> Whoa, what's what's wrong now? <laughs> Time delay choking? But the mention of the word date might be freaking her out. I can tell she's delighted. But I can't forget we're still stuck in a small town. There's not much to do here. Though I mull over... Uh, 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 Though I mull and mull over it, we eventually just end up at the shopping mall in the neighbouring town. I usually just go to the anime store here, but there are a bunch of clothing and jewellery stores for girls here too. Sorry I don't have much of a plan. Anywhere in particular you want to go besides the anime place? Wait, why were we going to the hotel again? Who <laughs> were? Why is my little sister bringing up the thing that's always saved for the end of the date? It's like they almost forgot. It's like she's forgotten about the fact that we're getting stuff for the festival. What the fuck, Suzu? What the fuck? Who or what taught you that? Cute young girls shouldn't know about these things. Well, it does, doesn't it? Just curious, Suzu. But what have you been branching out of from your typical detective and crime stuff lately? Wipe your mind clean! Forget everything you've learned! I don't know what she's been dabbling in, but I know for a damn fact she's going to the wrong sources for entertainment. So basically, she's been watching hentai, hasn't she? <laughs> that is not how things work at all. Maybe in a different world, but not here. Seriously. I think my little sister might have a few screws loose. Actually, hang on. Uh, Suzu, did you by any chance think we were going to a hotel today? I suppose because they can't exactly do it at home. Th that makes sense. You know, her thought process isn't completely off kilter, is it? She gives a nod, voice hushed, face red, and her eyes slightly downturned. Did you forget about me needing to buy an apron? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, stop trying to imitate Nanaru. It is cute though, so I'll let it slide this time. Well, at any rate, my little sister's worldview has been tainted, that's for sure. I know they say being a nerd ruins your perception of reality, but I don't think many of us have, have it as bad as she does. Uh, anyway, why don't we do something that's actually date-like? <laughs> I remember how his date with Sheena went. It was awful at first, and in the end they actually managed to rescue it. So maybe this will be the similar situation, maybe? Perhaps? You don't need to! The harder she tries, the more deranged her thoughts become. I can't afford to let her out of my sight. If I look away for a second, God only knows what she's going to show back up with. We can get my apron first, I guess. Any way you want to go after that? Just don't ask to go to some back alley bar or an illicit moonshine factory. <laughs> That's what you say? The place we're headed is to a kitchenware shop, but we figure it probably sells aprons. We find the apron section quickly, but they're all flashy and bright coloured. 90% of them are clearly intended for women. Only like two of these would be wearable for a guy? I have a plain beige apron as well as a similarly plain deep blue one. They're both about the same price, so the only real difference is the colour. Suzu, which do you- Beige? I didn't even finish my sentence! She blurted that reply out in literal milliseconds. Well, that makes sense, I guess. R right, let's go with the beige one then. Her reasoning seems solid enough to me. Aight, now have a good day, bruv! <laughs> what? <laughs> I just got finished purchasing the beige apron Suzu suggested. Only a few minutes of shopping, and we've already completed the only thing we came here for. I'll admit I suggested this as sort of an excuse to go out on a date with her, but I never expected it to be so quick, so I'm not sure what we do now. I survey the area in search of anything interesting, when my eyes land on a store that's sparkling and glistening. Hey Suzu, wanna go check out that jewellery store? If you see something you like, I'll buy it for you. I don't think you have the money to buy anything from there. Why not? It's our first date. I triumphantly enter the accessory store, the bag with my apron in it hanging from my arm. But that feeling was short-lived. Holy shit, this stuff is pricey! <laughs> I did tell him! I suggested this place because it seemed casual enough, but boy, the price tags on these jewellery items are outrageous! Enough to make a school kid like me weep. We'd be good if I'd already had my festival pay, but I way overspent at Sumakami. So my wallet right now is kinda... Just my luck. One of the smiling store clerks is shuffling their way over here. I know what happens now. They're gonna corner me. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna slowly back out without making eye contact. Just like I've seen a bear in the wilderness. But as I'm about to do so, Susie tugs on my shirt and whispers into my ear. <laughs> so considerate. Yeah, please. Suzu and I power walk out of the store. I can feel the store clerk staring daggers at us for a while, but we soon get far enough away. Sorry, Suzu. I'll buy you something after we get paid for the festival. Huh? I thought she'd made that comment to me after seeing the price tags, but evidently not. <laughs> so it wasn't being considerate of the price. Oh man, yeah. Some store clerks can be quite intimidating when they just like, they see and just like, time to make my quota. <laughs> oh yeah, I get that. If you're not used to it, it can be pretty scary. She lowered her voice, which trembled as she spoke. Wait, 
Wouldn't it be the other way around? Aw, Suzu. What would they do with us? Oh, no. Oh, no, can't have that. What? Produce? Not even organ harvesting? You've been watching way too much anime. Her tone was so serious it spooked me some. Also, said you as a lady? What is that even supposed to mean? Oh no. <laughs> that was a rhetorical question, Suzu. But you know, I'm kind of surprised you could talk about this stuff so calmly. It feels like not even a month ago she'd be blushing at one of my pornos. Yeah, yeah, I get that. R right. Hearing that makes me feel incredibly ashamed that I once fat to the fan service scenes in family friendly movies and books. I can't even look her in the eyes. <laughs> well, thanks for admitting that to us then, Sosuke. Appreciate it, dude. God, this is embarrassing. Lately, as in, uh, since we, since we did you know what? She sure does want to do her best to please her own chan Oh. Okay. Experiencing it for herself has changed how she feels about it, huh? The sister of mine who would once go red in the face at the slightest mention of anything lewd is no more. It took me a while to notice. But I'm proud of how my sister has grown. Hmm? I thought you had one already. Getta? Ah, okay. Sure, we can go. What is a getta? Is it like that little pocket in some aprons? No. Oh. Can anyone find anything out for me, I'd appreciate it. We enter the store. The Yukata section of this clothing store seems to be in the seasonal section, and since it's almost autumn already, there's not much of a selection. Not that it really makes up for the fact, but the prices seem lower due to them being out of season. I think I can actually afford one of these. If you see anything you'll like, I'll... Hmm? Wait, where did Suzu go? I took my eyes off her for a second and she vanished. I spin around trying to find her, but then... Wow, that was fast! She returns, shopping bag in hand. How did she even do that? I thought girls took forever when shopping. <laughs> nice. Ah, wooden sandals. Cool. Thanks, Martin. Uh, oh, you could have looked around some more, though. I wouldn't have minded. Is that so? Hmm. Talk about swift decisions. It's definitely a trade I'd expect from Suzu, but this date isn't going quite how I pictured it. I thought shopping dates were all about the girl looking at everything sparkly-eyed, picking out multiple things and asking the boyfriend for his thoughts, etc. I was really looking forward to that cliché scenario when the girlfriend tries on two outfits, asks for the boyfriend which looks better, and he says both. Well, you want to go look at some regular clothes? She nods up and down, beaming. Whew, at least she seems to be enjoying the date itself. Well, so I thought. Want to check out this place? Drinky, drinky time. Refreshed. Uh, oh! Suzu knows her taste in clothing well and can tell if a store has anything worth her while just by glancing in the window. N not at the moment. Well, I wouldn't mind some, but I still haven't been able to buy Suzu anything yet, so I don't have time for myself. Hmm. 
We continue wandering around the shopping center, but our conversations have gone silent. What should I do? I only noticed this belatedly, but us siblings are earth shatteringly bad at blad <laughs> are earth shatteringly bad at window shopping. Fuck! Why can't Nanaru be here? She'd be dragging us all over the place. The two of us just had to be born naturally shit window shoppers. What's up? Yes, yes, yes! Of course! Where is it? Where do you want to go, Suzu? She's a little taken aback by my zeal, but she still tells me where she wants to go. They always end up at an anime shop on these shopping dates. They always do. <laughs> Agreed. The place Suzu wanted to go was our usual anime shop. And we're currently browsing the young adult crime manga section. There are no cute outfits here. No jewelry. Nothing you'd think a girl would like. But this is what Suzu likes. She picks up a book from the new arrival section. It's being displayed front and center on the shelf, so I assume it's a new release. What's this one about? Interesting. I actually quite like the sound of that one. It's an interesting... Yeah, it sounds interesting, man. I'd be interested in that. <laughs> sounds neat. You gonna buy it? Yeah, but it's a new release, so you might want to get it now if you can. Now's your chance, Sosuke. You can buy her something. Well, yeah, but they also say the first week of sales is do or die for the publisher. If they're not good enough, sometimes they'll even just end the series right there and then. Indeed, sad but true. Yeah, that's why you should pre-order stuff you're interested in, or at least buy it day one. She looks up at it admiringly as I recite the knowledge I learned online. A second after, she picks up the book. Then we move over to the DVD section. She looks at the pre-order advertisements one by one. Oh, I watched this ages ago. Those pre-order bonuses look pretty sweet. I would like to buy some anime before I, um, when I get paid, but... Because of how the times are, I need to buy all my Christmas presents. <laughs> I want to watch this too, so how about we split the cost? Let's pre-order it next time we come then. Our date ends up as an enjoyable trip to our usual anime store. But I think this is the best option for us. We're still just starting out. There's no need for us to feel like we have to do things other couples do. We'll just take things one step at a time. After all, we'll always be together now. There's a beautiful sunset painting the sky by the time we leave the mall. <laughs> really did. Despite our extended stay, all we have in our bags are a couple volumes of manga. Though we'll more than make up for that our conservative spending after we get paid, I'm sure. It's four o'clock. It feels too early to head home, but I can't think of anywhere else to go now that we've finished up at the anime shop. Suddenly, I get an idea. But first, I need to get confirmation on something. What do you want to do, Suzu? <laughs> Figures. Cool. I didn't want to either. She's blushing. She's blushing. That can only mean one thing. 
She awkwardly fumbles with her shopping bag as she timidly looks up at me. We're clearly both thinking of the same place. Suzu? I check that no one's around before leaning in towards her lips. Realising what I'm about to do, she shuts her eyes. We share a quick kiss, but this is no longer enough to satisfy us. We know what's on the horizon. Off in the distance, I see an old, run-down-looking love hotel. Exactly the kind I'd expect to see in a small town like ours. I often glance at it when I walk past this area, but now that I'm actually going there, my chest is swelling with anticipation. We scurry to the hotel as fast as possible to minimise our chances of being spotted. <laughs> it's kind of like you're eloping as well. That's the first thing you say after we get in here? I was hoping to hear something cute or sexy, but then I realised this is just what I'd expect Susie to say. Love is blind, as they say. Hmm. I think if we stop here, we have enough for one last stream of this game. Because I would sort of like to get ready for um for my um gaming session with my mates in just under half an hour. I really don't think we'll finish the game in half an hour either, to be honest. It feels like there's always one root of the two routes that seems to be longer than the other so i think i'd rather just end the stream here today so thanks for coming guys it's always a pleasure to stream for you and i look forward to seeing you the next time i stream so we'll quickly bookmark this and end it here so see you tomorrow guys check check Catch you later.